So I'm Dave Salvatore with Intel. I'm, uh, I'm with the PR group, and one of the things that I do PR for is uh, Thunderbolt technology. It's a very slick new PC connection technology that we've had out in market now for almost a year, uh, available today on a, on a wide range of Macintosh uh, computer systems, coming this year to Windows uh, in, a, in about the mid-year time frame. And uh, here at NAMM, we've got some very cool devices that are using Thunderbolt that we're very excited about. We're here in the Universal Audio booth. They've got a very cool new product. Um, that's using it, this kind of just amazing audio interface device is taking advantage of, of uh, Thunderbolt's very low latency and high bandwidth. Um, we also have other companies here showing our products, uh, in particular uh, Mark of the Unicorn, who just launched a new product, uh, Motu, uh, over at CES. And so we've got, um, we've got some pretty cool things going on here at NAMM. What's great about Thunderbolt is, if you think about how the world increasingly is wanting to go mobile, you know, and we hear a lot about mobility, especially in the computer industry. Um, one of the things that happens is when you come back, you know, from say wherever you've been on a road trip, out on the road, what have you, you have the ability to come in with your very thin laptop, be it a MacBook Air, be it uh, this new class of notebook over on the Windows side called Ultrabooks. And with that single super fast connection, you'll be able to basically with one plug immediately connect to your displays, your storage, your media capture devices. So in that sense, Thunderbolt acts kind of like an amplifier for these mobile systems, whereas you may have a lean and mean rig you take out with you on the road, but as soon as you come back home to your kind of your home base, you can immediately connect back into kind of your big system with essentially one connection. The other great thing for uh, for anyone interested in audio, it's very interesting. In the computer industry, we tend to like to talk about uh, you know rates of throughput. You know how big is your you know is your throughput on any given pipe, and that certainly is important. But what's equally important, in fact, critically important for audio guys, is latency. You know, latency is kind of the thing we're always fighting in, a, in our in our DAW rigs and in our various digital audio uh, setups that we run. And uh, you know, less latency is always better. And it turns out, you know, that uh, Thunderbolt technology, which uses two. Um, uh, native protocols, those being PCI Express and DisplayPort, basically hopping from device to device, you have a latency of only about seven or eight nanoseconds. So if you think about that, you know, we typically in the audio space like to talk about, um, you know, latency in terms of milliseconds. Here we are talking two orders of magnitude less from a hop to hop perspective. Now when you get, sort of you roll that back up through the application and everything, there'll be a little bit more latency added. But again, now we're probably talking on the order of perhaps microseconds. So the, the latency piece of Thunderbolt in terms of these external devices, that can run um, not only lots and lots of audio I own in the form of many channels, but all with super low latency, um, that starts to make for a very interesting pipeline for, uh, for audio guys to take advantage of.